Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eo and this is Library of Rona. As you can see I did a little bit of work in uh, putting together some a team for Gaborah here. Um, so some interesting things about Gaborah. I looked up some posts, I tried to find some that are at least within 2021 <laughs> um, because obviously the game went through very a lot of iterations over the years. Um, now a few issues I ran into was I, I was hoping of course, I was concerned about getting the actual Red Mist page, but apparently not only was I lucky, I was too lucky. Um, I ended up getting a lot of onrushes and focused spirits, um, but not very many upstanding slashes and spears. Uh, having one, one of these common cards is completely worthless because the special ability, what it does is it reduces the cost of the other cards of that same type. Um, so having one upstanding slash doesn't do anything besides the uh, the card the extra draw and, the, and same thing for spear it just gives you the extra draw it won't do the uh, cost reduction uh, so that kind of skewed my options as far as what I can do build wise um, and so I kind of just try to hack together something uh, I did see a, a video of a playthrough where someone was using steel knuckle to take advantage of the counter die um, and pretty much all the builds take advantage of a certain passive which unfortunately meant I had to gut one of my builds and that is from Mio's page. Mio's prowess is the ability that of course I try to take advantage of all the time as uh, Mio where if I outspeed somebody I get extra power uh, for every two points over uh, uh, over the, that person's speed and obviously you can probably tell what the combo is Essentially, with um, the strongest, where you're guaranteed to have an infinite speed die, um, you are guaranteed to get plus five power on that particular die um, for everything, essentially. So I think the idea that I, I want to take advantage of for now is um, use Steel Knuckle on the infinite die and just use... And, and hopefully get the um, the plus five on the counter die. That way I can just counter everything. Um, one of the common builds uh, for the Red Mist is essentially a solo build where you just say screw the, all the other characters and just go all in with Gaborah by herself. And that definitely, of course, has its advantages. Um, obviously, there's an abnormality page that literally takes is where you literally eat the rest of your characters to get a bunch of bonus bonuses. Um, so I'm kind of go ahead and lean towards that and see how that goes. So with me as prowess, I also have Lone Fixer, which is if there are no allies present, she'll get plus three strength. So with me as prowess and Lone Fixer, that's essentially plus eight on that infinite die. And then essentially what people will go is either Mind Hauler or um, Health Hauler. Uh, I went Mind Hauler because I really do not want to get staggered. So that's kind of the gist here. Um, now the build that I saw using Steel Knuckle only used one, but since I literally did not have the upstanding slashes and spears to actually make it worthwhile, I went ahead and took a few more Steel Knuckles and took some uh, Focus Spirits. Um, but generally the idea is you can literally just get away with using just her pages. Um, I might be if I burn that last book, I'll probably have exact enough to do what I the to, to use upstanding slashes and spear. But obviously, if I burn that buck, I would have to refight the um, red mist again to get another one to actually do the um, the invitations and uh, abnormalities that I need to do still. So I need to go ahead and do the abnormalities first and the invitation, and then burn that buck, and then I'll be able to hopefully complete this build. Uh, everyone else is kind of just there for support. More more or less, they're just trying to survive um, long enough for Gabor to devour them. Because, um, yeah, what we have here is um, if we get Mountain of Corpses, which if, it does require negative uh, emotion to do this one, but essentially you eat all everyone else, and then you get Light Capacity, Light Restoration, Strength, Protection, and Haste, proportional to the number of Librarians eaten. So if all three of them are alive and I did this, I'll get plus three every time. Um, and then, of course, we have things like Prey, which... Not Prey, what was I looking for? Oh. Uh, the role of the ro wolf, which makes it so your counter dice are stronger, which of course Gaboro has a, a built-in counter die, and it flex fragile whenever she uh, does that stuff. 
So we've got uh, some interesting things we can take advantage of. And then, um, let's see. And then, of course, she has ways to regain life with, like, instincts. And then, of course, you got uh, Claws of Savagery and all that good stuff. So that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so, yeah, we'll go ahead and fight Nosferatu. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. And, unfortunately, we no longer have a Mio build because I had to use Mio's uh, passive for this. Man, her speed is 1 to 8. All right. Uh... Yeah, we've already read all this. Okay. Yeah. So the idea here is to have a steel knuckle to use with the infinite page, and then just go from there. Obviously, the biggest danger, of course, is the um, the evade, which is unfortunate. All right. Because I obviously I don't want the counter die to be eaten. So, not exactly sure how to do this. So, Nosferatu will heal if we let this go through, which I'm actually okay with for the first round. And they all have, of course, plus strength. Okay. So, yeah, I'll do a, a deep drag on you. Okay, I'm okay with that. It's even a. Oh, it's, a, it's actually a range shot, too. That's crazy. So it's guaranteed that I'll always have access to it. Alright. I'm a little confused on what the order will be. I, I'm, I'm hoping that the attack would go before the um, counter, but I'm not entirely certain. Alright, so we got all that going. Problem is, is light actually for her, but hopefully. Oh, one other thing to note about the red mist: it has a built-in, it has a built-in EGO page. Um, only she can use it. It's five, uh, five light to use. Great split vertical. Destroy a combat page set on the. Yeah, it's it's, it's exactly the the same ability, and it does a lot of bleed. So we'll see how that goes. All right, you're going after this. This. Not much I can do about that. Is that piercing? Alright, and you are being attacked by this. Well, I don't want to get bleeded. Or no, that's just game blood. Just do this then. And I'm gonna intercept that because if I do that, I can then put this deep drag towards dealing with whatever this is. And then I can multi slash somebody. Not sure. I guess we should kill some of the bats and go from there, maybe. Well, I'm not exactly sure the the strat for this. So with this, I can now put Roll the Wolf. I'm just seeing what else the... Uh, yeah, we can Mark as well. Yeah, we want Roll the Wolf. Or of course, let's put this on Gabora. So now her counters are even better. Get the, the 
spooky eyes. So I think what happens here, um, if you have a tie for the lowest value, it actually gives infinites to both of them, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Um, so yeah, Nasiratu unfortunately has a ton of blood, so he's going to do his AoE. Inflicts Fear of Water on target and restores HP to all allies by 7 plus num targets hit. Not much we can do about it. Three strength on top of all of this. My other option is I do. Would be the slice, slice the Nosferatu open. Alright, so you're going after that, that's fine. be able to do anything against that. It's a mass summation though. idea what I'm doing. that in mind let's do this okay you're going after that you're going after that you're going after that you're going after that okay in that case let's do lay regole on you and then a multi slash on you okay just making sure you're actually intercepting you are let's do this Two people were hit. Staggered. Okay. Thirst again. Alright, so things we can do here is we can onrush you for a kill, and that will actually give me a free onrush for a random enemy. And then, I'm not concerned about this. We need to deal with thirst. Okay. So you're doing that. Okay, you have your strength back. Not sure. 
sure how my inhaled smoke got. Oh, okay, I have an easy going breather. Got it. Alright. So you're doing that, that's fine. Do your thing. And nothing else. You're doing that, so you're doing that. And you're actually going after you. Okay. So. good options. So I need to intercept something. Alright, well... You can interc... No, that needs to be dealt with. Alright, so yeah, let's do... Deep drag into hail smoke. We'll do will the prescript on you. To that, and you have free reign. With this this build is it actually have a lot of smoke inflict. But if I do loss of census I can at least draw some cards. Okay, Fear of Water is the thing that's weakening me, but I'm also getting a bunch of bonus stats. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Alright, have fun with that. Yep, thank you for all the free counters. Staggered. Bat down. Bat down, and then you get to attack again. Okay. So with that, we now have access to Prey, Vengeance, or Claws of Savagery. Actual Library sustains damage greater than 25% of their max HP. That's not helpful. Start of the scene gain. Base up damage taking previous scene, one damage per five. I think I'm just gonna do, uh. We'll just do prey. Alright, so two bats are dead. And I'm assuming. Okay, so you're gonna probably do your AoE next round. have you intercept that, and then we're going to do some level slashes. Have this go off first. Okay. So yeah, doing the level slashes so they can become free. Don't care about your noble responses. I'm fine with you just self healing for now. All 
Alright, uh, let's do... Well, the Prescrapt, guide some gears. Okay, absorption, instincts, and laughter. Each time the selected librarian wins a clash, the last die on their power gains power, and they get they recover health. So instincts on you. AOE. Oh wow, no AOE. Okay. Could have swore you were gonna get. Oh, actually, does your blood deplete? Oh yeah, it does deplete. Okay. What are you doing? That, that, and that. Got it. So steel knuckle. You also have no light. Good for you. with this and winning. And I'll use you to finish off that. Okay, now for everyone else. Some deep drags. As long as yours hit, it'll be 7 smoke, they'll put it at 10 smoke, and then I can follow up the loss of senses. You are out of juice. Got it. Okay. Then in, that, in your case, we're just going to do that. Guidance of gears. Okay. And I also can follow up with that into multi slash. Okay, and then in your case. Feeble and bleed. All right, here goes nothing. Alright, manifest EGO, restore 6 light, full restore, uh, recover stagger, 
uh, resist manifest ETO of the red mist next scene. want to do is on rush first. If I stagger, I automatically will get another attack from it. And then we do manifest EGO here. Okay. And then with you, Uh, I do have to lit wait for you to transform, so that's a thing I have to t take into consideration. this. Okay, there goes nothing. Staggered. Oh. Yeah, so... Wasting hits here, unfortunately, but that's okay. He transformed, so did the Red Mist. So, I'm now... Red Mist, all... I now have plus two power. And I can now use Great Split Horizontal. And my, my resistances are randomized. And, uh, yeah. And I have to avoid being staggered. Of course, I take stagger damage if I fail to do 40 damage. Got it. And then, of course, we got you. Unbearable drought if the character has two or less blood. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Let's do this. So, yeah, I now have a great split horizontal as my opener. And then of course we have the mass summation here that's gonna lust for blood us. And now that will do feeble. Okay. So So does this actually clash? It does. So it actually. I'm curious to see if that will actually work. Because if it does, that's amazing. Can't do anything about you. Drag, yeah. And then loss of senses, yeah. Right. Lots of 
senses, but multi slash. That'll give me what plus five on this if I use mass summation. I don't think I do. Nope, I don't. Alright, here goes nothing. Uh, let's go. Boop. That's... well. Ouch, that was a lot. Nice counters. Holy cow, we wrecked him. All right, well, did lose a little bit of strength, but that's fine. Yeah, so you're doing that, you're doing that, you're doing that. Got it. Well, all I have light for is that. You are staggered, so I don't need to worry about you at all. Oh, I see what's happening here. Unfortunately, uh, Shinki has lost control, which is a little annoying. But she can actually tank it. So we will. You can deal with that. Right, uh, Le Regole. Keep hitting. Actually, loss of senses. And then follow it up with, I don't know, this. Alright, here goes nothing. Ouch. Well, so much for my counter die, but it doesn't matter. Okay, calmed you down. All right. So yeah, Red Mist uh, with Mio's passive is really, really strong to the point where she can literally solo encounters. So that's what I'll probably be doing for a bit for a change of pace. All right, our last assistant, and then uh, of course um, increased motion level, which we desperately need, and we get access to uh, Nosferatu pages. So we got Vampirism, which is uh, deal plus two to four damage and recover two to five HP upon attacking a target with bleed, excludes mass attacks. We have Wine. Oh, actually, I didn't read this, the flavor text. And the thirst would truly be quenched. And then for Wine, we have. Um, it maintains a human form, but a single drop of blood should be enough for it to shapeshift into a ferocious monster and spend the night in a rampage. Uh, upon defeating an enemy with bleed, all allies recover 10 HP, and the selected librarian gains max blood. And then fear of water. He seemed lost. He was looking for something, but he didn't appear to know uh, what he wanted to find. On hit, uh, inflict one bleed next scene and gain one blood. Excludes mass attacks. Blood grants various effects depending on its amount, such as increase, increasing attack damage at the cost of HP, stake, uh, taking stagger damage at the start of the scene, and granting strength. So the idea is you want to use like something like Fear of Water in combination with um, uh, Vampirism, so you can kind of mitigate the damage you're taking. And then of course this leads to our um, final episode of this. Yeah, we're kind of unlocking a lot of these all at once, um, which is a little unfortunate because it means we have less opportunities to actually 
try out these uh, abnormality pages as well as the EGO pages we've unlocked. But that's just how it is as we get closer and closer to the end here. Alright, uh, so that's one thing unlocked. Um, I believe we have an invitation that requires Red Mist. Yeah, and I believe it's a boss fight. I think we go against Blue Reverberation here. So we'll have to deal with that. I'm wondering if Gabora can solo it, but I won't be able to try it really because Gabora unfortunately isn't fully prepared yet. I mean, I could try sending her to fight the Red Mist herself, which there is some unique text where Kali is like, what the hell, why am I fighting myself type situation. Um, but yeah, definitely a lot of things we can try. But uh, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I'm the Depressed Viewer. This is Library of Runa. I'll see you guys later.